Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. It's a little dark. I should turn some lights on. But I want to show you, I think I have way too many on here and it's said to have a single layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to do it like this because I ain't got no patience, um, which needs to change. But it has soy sauce, balsamic, uh, olive oil, gray poupon, brown sugar, and it and black pepper. And it wanted something I didn't have, so I used ginger garlic seasoning. So I might, that was a message to myself that my cat needs her nails done. So I'm gonna put a little extra on it. And so now it goes into the oven 400 degrees. I don't remember how long I'm letting my oven. And then I think it's gonna be a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my salmon on a separate pan. I have to make the marinade for that. I haven't done that yet. But y'all, it's a thing of beauty, I think. Too much, but I was trying to use up some stuff. But next time I'll remember, it's just me. <laughs> I'm not feeding 10 people. Two people, three people. So, y'all want to come? You want to have some salmon and some roasted veggies? You're so welcome to come. All right, guys, be back. Okay, so I got my vegetables in. I'm going to do them like 17 minutes, and you stir them around, and then about 17 minutes more. I am working on my glaze for my salmon, which is... um. Butter, garlic, uh, honey, and soy sauce. So I'm just trying to get my butter to melt here. I put it in the microwave for a second. And then I need to salt and pepper the, um, the salmon. It says cayenne. Um, I'm doing eat cayenne, but I put a, I'm going to put a little red pepper on that. So I used, um, this, but it doesn't really, ooh, it smells like garlic. It doesn't really say, oh, here we go. One half tablespoon equals one clove of garlic. So I think I'll do a little more, even though my, this is for three pounds of salmon. I have a pound, just under a pound. So, whoops. Now my salmon, I'll stop it. It's still a little frozen. So I'm not sure, y'all, what that's about. Um, I didn't want to just leave it sitting out all day. Excuse me. You know, and then, y'all, look at this. I love me some red pepper. Now, I used to can't stand any spice, but, I mean, it's not that I don't use a lot because I don't like my tongue burning or the back of my throat burning unless it's a really good dose of alcohol. Okay. enjoying myself y'all just learning some new stuff right I don't think my mother really started to cook until she was in her 60s mm, smells good you guys mm. I guess I should like Now for the salmon, it says to um, heat up the pan first. So what I've decided to do, I'm uh, very proud of myself. So I'm gonna let it marinate. I'm gonna let it just go ahead and deal with the vegetables. And then um, I'll heat up the pan. Whoop, y'all. Y'all can see that. Yeah. 
leaking everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up as I go though. So that's what's happening with that. And then um, I've got my borscht cooking. I already have my salad made for this week. So I'm having borscht and salad for lunches. And I think what I'll do is um, my freezer at work, I'll freeze up a couple different um, batch, you know, uh, lunches just to have there when I feel like it. So you guys, Grey Poupon. This stuff is yummy from Trader Joe's. This honey, you guys, if they ever have it again, I don't know how it got on the bottom, but the Hawaiian macadamia nut uh, blossom and multifloral honey, oh, it just even, it smells so good. But how does this happen on the bottom? So I think I need to rest that in like a pan of hot water or something. You guys, I've just, I, my, I never have luck with garlic. It always seems to be dry or, anyway, and this is new from McCormick, sweet ginger garlic. So trying up, you know, I have so many interesting spices, you guys. So, yeah, I don't know how this honey, it's all over my cupboard, of course, y'all. I mean, I guess I need to put it in a plastic thing, right? So I'll let some of that get off and then I will put it in a plastic thing. So let me take you and show you my borscht. So you have to have a note, heat pan. Let's all forget. That's just how it is. And I just accept my brain for what it is. So, woo, you guys. So there's my borscht. I'm going to turn that way down. I might have to. Mm, that is so good. I have an extra can of beets, so I might put that in towards the end. And I do use sour cream, but I like to put it in the individual bowl, not in the um, pot. Got my cocoa anemos from Trader Joe's. All right, so I'm gonna clean up my kitchen. I'll be back to show you some cooked veggies and some grilled salmon, fingers crossed. You guys, here are the veggies. They smell divine. Now the carrots, or a little chewy. But y'all, I am not mad at that. This is so, and I can really taste the mustard. Wow. This is, this is going to help me eat my vegetables. Now, this was a lot because I had stuff going off. But I'll learn to make it enough for me, like, for two days. But I'm thinking, too, I could even, um, on the last day, throw pasta. A little of my eggplant stuff from Trader Joe's. Okay, I'll show you the salmon is in the oven when it's Okay, ready. guys, there's the salmon. I'm not sure. I've never really cooked salmon. Maybe once or twice. Um, it looks cooked, right? It didn't get this, like, crust on it, this person said it might. But anyway, I am going to take a bite. I don't think it tastes good. It doesn't taste um, dry. Yeah, I think it tastes good. So I'm exhausted. You guys, look at me, I'm exhausted. So I have a Trader Joe's haul, but I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning and I'm gonna go sit down, eat my dinner. I'm gonna put it in little individual things and then I gotta let my borscht cook another hour or so. And then, find room in the refrigerator, so wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs>